What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Point. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today people, we are going to be reviewing Ghost Recon Wildlands on my first impression. Now, I'm not gonna go full details with the missions yet because I don't I know I don't want to spoil some you know, missions out there because people have pretty much gotten mad before at me because I spoiled some stuff from story mode games and I don't want to do that again so I'm just gonna review like the movements and what do I think about the driving and all that stuff so you guys can be aware of what to expect on Ghost Recon Wildlands so anyways first things first since I played the division uh, the whole year last year it was a fun game overall um, there's a lot of things that didn't transfer over to this game and one of the big major things was the movement as you can see it does seem a little bit off though I don't know about you but like there's like no weight shifting like like you know how the division like you stop all of a sudden and it takes a while to turn your character back and it does like a, like a little step to like boost itself back and this game doesn't have it to be honest like you gotta see like it, it just goes super quick like which is kind of weird because it makes me feel like I'm controlling a robot and I don't want that I want my character to be a little bit alive but one of the good things though about this game, in the cutscenes when you're playing the story mode, your character actually talks. So that's a big plus for me because in the division, your character never talked. It's pretty much another like uh like Grand Theft Auto 3 situation where Cloud never talked at all. Like that little freaking mute fuck, like I swear that he should have talked at some point. But anyways, this game does allow you to, the, your character to talk. Uh, the movements are a little bit off. Uh, the climbing physics, I don't know about you, they're a little bit weird to be honest, like look at this, look at this little climbing animation, it's kind of not so good, but it's not something like that's going to ruin their game experience to be honest, but it does kill a little bit of, of the immersion, but uh, it, it's still not as bad to like kill the whole game off, you know, I'm just saying it's, it's kind of bad, the movement is a little bit bad also, the vehicles, um, what can I say? Vehicles kind of like stick to the ground. Like I don't know how to explain to you that I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen the uh, Skyrim physics with the horses. It's kind of a similar similar situation with the vehicles here in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And what I'm trying to say is the vehicles stick to the ground. I don't know. Like it's it's super weird. Like the cars don't flip around that much and they don't jump as high enough like that much either. It's super weird when you reverse. Your car literally climbs the whole okay. damn rock, which is not possible to be honest, because that rock is super yeah. steep. And just look at this. It you? literally hangs on to the floor. Hell no. And it doesn't Hell go that no. high either. Uh, also, the right. handling physics but are not like. that great. Like, to be honest, I you wish there was like a little bit of the crew. Like. But, um. Yeah, man, the and it's a little bit of improvement. So, um. It's a little bit of a concern, to be honest, like, but it's not something that's going to ruin your whole game experience, to be honest. Another thing I want to talk about is the cover system. Um, it randomly covers. It doesn't stick anymore like the Division. And I know this is Ghost Recon Wildlands, you know, it's Ghost Recon, not the Division. I know that, but I was kind of expecting a little bit just like, press the button and you'll take cover. Like, no, this time, you just take cover manually and you have to wait to your character to uh, take cover automatically and just aim and it will aim towards the outside sometimes like sometimes it doesn't function very well as you can see it looks like a little bit weird to be honest look at this look at this movement like it feels like a, he, like the character sliding or something like I don't know but the movements a little bit wonky and um, it's a big question mark what do you guys think about this situation you know does it need improvement it looks pretty good you know let me know in the comment section Another thing that I like about this game has to be the customization. Wow, the customization, people. That has to be my favorite part of the whole game. As you can see, I hold triangle. You can edit your appearance, facial hair, and uh, you know your hair and everything. And I already talked about this in another video. You know, talking about the customization. I love it because you can customize the tops, the vest. You know, how big is the vest and everything. I mean, look at this. Go bigger vest and everything, and heavy armor amazing stuff and, and also change the camos it's just like uh it's something that i really wanted for the longest time i wanted deep customization in a video game and this game is giving it to me and uh and by the way not in a sexual way because i know people are thinking wrong but anyways yeah and also you can save your outfits by clicking special outfits you just click a set 
and then you can change that whole set and you should be able to customize that set and it's going to save automatically so you can customize up to five outfits and you should be able to uh, change your hairstyle you change your beard and everything I already got the ghillie, the ghillie suit on and I got the cowboy <laughs> I, was, I was like thinking like what else should I do what other kind of genre oh yeah cowboy because there's a leather hat available so I created kind of a cowboyish look and then set four is kind of like a street look I think yeah street look and set five I haven't really edited anything I was like eh, I'll stop for right now because I know something's gonna come up later on but I like set zero because I don't know kind of reminds me a little bit about Metal Gear for some reason but yeah uh, the customization is awesome the weapon customization I already talked about it too a lot of weapons available which I like the P90 MP7 the SCAR uh, the uh, Scorpion Evil, ACR, and uh, what else is out here? The AK-47, the Dragunov is available. I mean, there's several, several choices for a weapon, several choices for your submachine gun and handguns. There's like around 10, ten pistols, to be honest. Ten, like around 7 pistols and 2 SMGs and something else. I think it's a mini shotgun. But yeah, it's a lot of customization. A lot of, uh, you know, ways to like look differently in the game. Uh, another thing is the animation when you pick up stuff like it's kind of weird Like I don't know man the animations are a little bit off in this game That's one when I really want a big circle, you know draw a big circle on because it's nothing like the division and uh, I know people are gonna be saying like oh, this is just another division. It's kind of Yes, maybe but kind of no at the same time. I mean you don't got this in the division which I kind of wish I had and uh, Also, you can click out of it just by clicking R3 and you should be able to see me like a first person view or third person so that's a good thing I'm glad games are finally thinking about this whole situation and also your the way your character runs on top of the rocks I mean look at this it just clips on I kinda wish it does like a little animation or something but it doesn't do it this is something that I talked about a, a long time ago like doing my Resident Evil stream that the uh, running animations are a little bit weird and it's, look at this like look at how he climbs the rock He's not even reacting towards the climb. Like, what the hell is this? It kind of kills the immersion, like I told you guys. But it's not big enough to ruin the game. That's my point. Also, the grass. You can hide through the, through the grass, too, when you're fighting the enemies. Just don't move a lot. You should be not spotted in anything at all. Um, also, I hate that the civilian characters kind of repeat themselves. I already played it like, for at least 10 minutes, and I can already tell. There's a little bit of... Uh, a problem with the civilians there's only like around three chicks and like around five dudes that are different from each other like that's a questionable call and uh yeah that's pretty much it that's all i want to talk about the grass is a little bit weird too i mean i know it's the beta people are gonna be saying like oh it's the beta it's the beta to be honest when it's already the beta all they can do now is fix the bugs and glitches there's no way they're gonna be able to improve the graphics. Maybe by a little bit, like they did with the division, but it's not gonna be majorly like till like you can see like the grass move while you crawl on it. Like it's not gonna happen, people. They're not gonna improve the graphics or improve the movement system. But um, overall, I would like to give this game so far the open beta a 7.8 out of 10. It's fun. I already played like for more than two hours, I believe. I was just roaming around. I didn't do a lot of the missions because I wanted to save a little bit on the weekend. But I'm thinking I'm going to do some missions right now because I really want to see some more cutscenes and everything and upload it to my channel. So that is it, people. Tell me your opinions about this game. Is it good? Is it bad? Have you played it? Try, have you tried it out? Or you want to try it out? Let me know in the comment section. It will be awesome to read. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.